Imagine a place so deep that if you dropped Mount Everest into it, the peak would still be over a mile underwater. That's the Mariana Trench. Nestled in the Western Pacific, it's the deepest part of our world's oceans, reaching a staggering depth of over 36,000 feet. But how did it form? Well, it's like a colossal scar on the Earth's crust, born from the violent collision of the Pacific and Philippine tectonic plates. As these plates grind and gnash together, one is forced under the other in a process known as subduction, creating this incredible chasm we know as the Mariana Trench. So we're talking about a place that's not just deep, but also a world of extremes. It's a realm of perpetual darkness, unimaginable pressure and cold that would make an Arctic winter seem positively balmy. The Mariana Trench is indeed a world of extremes, a place of darkness, pressure and mystery. The story of the Mariana Trench begins with the movement of Earth's crust. Picture two massive slabs of rock, the Pacific and the Philippine plates, slowly colliding over millions of years. This colossal clash is no stalemate. The denser Pacific plate is forced underneath the lighter Philippine plate, a process known as subduction. It's a slow and powerful dance, with the Earth's crust moving at about the same speed that your fingernails grow. Now imagine the immense pressure and heat at these subduction zones, powerful enough to melt rock and create magma. Occasionally, this magma finds a way to the surface, resulting in volcanic activities, such as the formation of the Mariana Islands. But the story doesn't end there. As the Pacific Plate continues to plunge into the Earth's mantle, it creates a deep sea trench, the Mariana Trench. This trench is home to the deepest point in the world's oceans, the Challenger Deep, named after HMS Challenger, which made the first recordings of its depth. This point plunges down about 11 kilometers, more than two kilometers deeper than Mount Everest is tall. To put that into perspective, if you dropped Mount Everest into the Mariana Trench, its peak would still be over two kilometers underwater. The Mariana Trench, however, isn't just a simple ditch in the seafloor. It's a complex three-dimensional structure with towering underwater mountains and deep, narrow valleys. These features are a result of the continuous dynamic processes of the Earth's crust. But the Mariana Trench is more than just its geological features. It's a living laboratory for scientists, offering insights into extreme environments and the limits of life on Earth. It also plays a crucial role in the Earth's carbon cycle, acting as a sink that absorbs and stores carbon from the atmosphere. This geological dance of tectonic plates has created the deepest part of our planet's oceans. And as we continue to explore and understand the Mariana Trench, we uncover not only the secrets of our planet's past, but also clues to its future. Humans have long been fascinated by the Mariana Trench, but exploring it has been a formidable challenge. The first known measurements of the trench were made by the British ship HMS Challenger in the late 19th century. Using weighted lines, the ship's crew took soundings to measure the depth and discovered the trench, which they named after the nearby Mariana Islands. The first actual visit to the trench didn't occur until January 23, 1960. Two men, Jacques Picard, a Swiss engineer, and Don Walsh, a U.S. Navy lieutenant, descended into the trench in a bathyscaph called the Trieste. They reached a depth of about 35,800 feet, but their time at the bottom was brief and their visibility limited. Decades later, in 2012, film director and deep-sea explorer James Cameron made a solo dive to the trench in a custom-built submersible named the Deep Sea Challenger. Cameron spent about three hours at the bottom, filming and collecting samples, providing a wealth of new information about this extreme environment. The most recent series of dives, made by the DSV limiting factor between 2019 and 2020, has further expanded our knowledge of the trench. The limiting factor completed multiple dives to the bottom of the trench, allowing for extended exploration and study. Each dive brought back new data and samples, contributing to our understanding of this mysterious part of our planet. Despite these pioneering efforts, we've only just begun to scratch the surface of the Mariana Trench's secrets. Exploration of the trench is still in its early stages, and there is so much more to learn. 
Each dive represents a step forward in our understanding, a piece of the puzzle in our quest to explore and understand the deepest part of our world's oceans. The Mariana Trench holds many secrets, and as technology continues to advance, we look forward to uncovering them. In the deep, dark, and cold environment of the Mariana Trench, life finds a way. This seemingly inhospitable environment is teeming with life, each species uniquely adapted to withstand the extreme conditions found here. The pressure at these depths is a thousand times greater than at sea level. The temperatures hover just above freezing, and sunlight is a distant memory. Yet in this darkness, life thrives. Let's delve into the unique biodiversity of the trench. One of the key players in this deep-sea drama is the amphipod. These shrimp-like creatures have evolved to withstand the crushing pressures of the trench, their bodies compact and hardy. They feed on detritus, the organic matter that falls from the surface, effectively turning them into the cleanup crew of the deep sea. Now, imagine a creature that looks like a cross between a slug and a fish. That's the snailfish. These strange beings are the top predators in the trench. With soft, translucent bodies, they are perfectly adapted to a life of extreme pressure. They feed on smaller organisms and are a testament to how life can evolve to fill every niche, no matter how extreme. Another fascinating inhabitant of the Mariana Trench is the Holothurian, also known as the sea cucumber. These echinoderms crawl along the sea floor, feeding on sediment. They recycle nutrients and play a vital role in the trench's ecosystem. Beyond these larger organisms, the Mariana Trench is also home to a myriad of microbial life. These tiny organisms live in the sediment of the trench floor, surviving on the chemical energy from the Earth's crust instead of sunlight. They represent an entirely different way of life and offer tantalizing glimpses into how life might survive on other planets. The Mariana Trench is a testament to life's adaptability in the face of extreme conditions. Each species here is a marvel of evolution, a testament to the tenacity of life. They remind us that even in the deepest, darkest corners of our planet, life can and does flourish. Unlocking the secrets of the Mariana Trench requires cutting-edge technology and innovative research methodologies. As we delve into the abyss, one of the key tools in our arsenal is the remotely operated vehicle, or ROV. These unmanned, remote-controlled submarines are the eyes and ears of scientists in the deep sea. Equipped with high-definition cameras and mechanical arms, they capture stunning imagery and collect valuable samples from the ocean floor, all while withstanding pressures a thousand times greater than at sea level. Then there are the Autonomous Underwater Vehicles, or AUVs. These self-navigating machines, often shaped like torpedoes, can travel vast distances and explore large areas of the ocean floor. Unfettered by a tether to the surface, they can dive deeper and stay submerged longer than their remotely operated counterparts, making them ideal for mapping the seafloor or tracking marine life. And let's not forget the benthic landers. These unmanned craft, named after the benthos, the deepest part of the ocean, are designed to sink to the seafloor perform experiments, and then return to the surface. They're like miniature scientific research stations, collecting data on everything from water temperature and pressure to the types of organisms that call the trench home. Each of these machines has played a pivotal role in expanding our understanding of the Mariana Trench. They've allowed us to document new species, study geological processes in action, and even discover new ecosystems fueled by chemosynthesis a process where organisms derive energy from chemicals instead of sunlight. But technology is only as good as the people who wield it. Behind every successful mission are teams of dedicated scientists, engineers, and technicians. They design and build these extraordinary machines, plan and execute the missions, and analyze the wealth of data that comes back. And as our technology continues to improve, so too does our capacity to explore. Future innovations may enable us to probe even deeper, stay submerged longer, and perhaps one day send humans safely to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. As technology advances, so too does our understanding of this deepest of deep-sea environments. Despite its remote location, the Mariana Trench is not immune to the impact of human activities. 
Even in the deepest parts of our oceans, we find evidence of humanity's footprint. The Mariana Trench, the deepest point on Earth, is no exception. Pollution is one of the most significant environmental challenges facing the trench. Surprisingly, plastic waste has found its way down to these extreme depths. From single-use plastics to microplastics, these pollutants pose a threat to the unique life forms that call the trench home. These tiny fragments, often less than five millimeters in size, are consumed by marine creatures entering and disrupting the delicate food web. Radioactive debris is another concern. The Mariana Trench is a final resting place for the remnants of nuclear weapons tests from the mid-20th century. While the full impact of this radioactive pollution is still under study, the potential risks it poses to the trench's ecosystems and beyond are significant. These environmental pressures extend further than just pollution. The trench, like other deep-sea environments, is rich in minerals and resources. This has led to growing interest in deep-sea mining, a practice that could have devastating effects on these fragile ecosystems, both known and yet to be discovered. Conservation efforts for the Mariana Trench are crucial, but they face challenges. The trench's remote location and extreme conditions make it difficult to monitor and protect. Additionally, the trench falls under international waters, complicating efforts to establish comprehensive protection policies. Nevertheless, initiatives are underway to safeguard the Mariana Trench. This includes designating parts of the trench as marine protected areas and implementing stricter regulations on deep sea mining and pollution. The aim is to strike a balance between human needs and the health of our planet's most profound depths. The Mariana Trench serves as a stark reminder of our responsibility to protect even the most remote corners of our planet. It is a testament to the interconnectedness of all things on Earth. Proof that our actions, no matter how far removed, can have far-reaching effects. The Mariana Trench is not just an intriguing natural wonder, but also a crucial piece in the global climate puzzle. Its role in climate change is often overlooked, but it's significant. The deep sea, including areas like the Mariana Trench, plays a vital part in the Earth's carbon cycle. This is all thanks to a process known as carbon sequestration. In simple terms, carbon sequestration is the long-term capture and storage of carbon from the atmosphere. The ocean, particularly its deepest parts, is a major player in this process. It absorbs vast amounts of carbon dioxide, a key greenhouse gas, from the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide is then transported to the deep ocean, where it's stored for hundreds to thousands of years. This process helps to limit the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, reducing the impact of global warming. Now, you might be wondering, how does the Mariana Trench fit into all this? Well, the trench's extreme depth means it has the potential to store a significant amount of carbon. In fact, some studies suggest that the deepest parts of the ocean, including the Mariana Trench, could be the final resting place for more carbon than we previously thought. Research in the Mariana Trench can help us understand more about this process. By studying the trench, scientists can gain insights into how carbon is transported to the deep ocean, how much can be stored there, and how this might change in the future. This information is crucial for improving our climate change models and predictions. However, we're only just beginning to uncover the secrets of the Mariana Trench and its role in climate change. There's still much to learn about this mysterious part of our planet and its impact on the global climate system. In the depths of the Mariana Trench, we may find answers to some of our most pressing climate questions. As we look to the future, the Mariana Trench continues to beckon, its depths filled with scientific promise and potential challenges. The future of deep sea exploration is a captivating frontier, teeming with possibilities yet to be discovered. As technology evolves, we anticipate a new era of exploration, one that will reveal more about the trench's hidden wonders and perhaps unlock secrets about our planet's history and its future. One of the potential avenues we're looking at is deep sea mining. The Mariana Trench is a treasure trove of valuable minerals and rare earth elements. These resources could be harnessed for various applications, from renewable energy technologies to advanced electronics. However, the extraction process is not without its hurdles. Deep sea mining could disrupt the trench's delicate ecosystems, disturb undiscovered species, 
and cause irreversible damage to this unexplored habitat. The ethical considerations surrounding deep sea mining are also significant. Striking a balance between resource extraction and environmental conservation is a complex issue, one that requires careful thought and international cooperation. As we stand on the brink of this new frontier, we must remember our responsibility to protect these unique environments for future generations. But the Mariana Trench is not just about potential resources. It represents an unknown frontier of oceanic exploration. There's still so much we don't know about this deep sea realm. What other life forms might we discover? What geological secrets does the trench hold? How can studying this environment enhance our understanding of our planet and possibly other aquatic bodies in our solar system? Indeed, the future of deep sea exploration is as vast and as deep as the Mariana Trench itself. Our journey into its depths has only just begun and the road ahead is filled with both challenges and opportunities. As we venture further into this unknown, we carry with us the hope of new discoveries and the resolve to protect this unique part of our planet. The Mariana Trench, a place of mystery and wonder, continues to captivate us, reminding us that there is still so much to discover.